Hello, it's Ricardo and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. I thought I'd take a look at some more power play today and Denton Petraeus with his advanced plasma accelerator. Is it any good? And how'd you get your hands on one? These are the questions we'll be going through in this video and also a little bit of lore about Denton Petraeus himself. The Advanced Plasma Accelerator is a weapon and a variant of the normal Plasma Accelerator. You can gain this if you align yourself to Denton Petraeus, the Imperial Admiral of the Fleet, and person who has had a brief relationship with Ashling Deval, her of the Prismatic Shields, for four weeks. Once you've gone through that process of aligning yourself for four weeks and delivered his materials, which we'll come on to later in the video, then you gain access to this advanced plasma accelerator. Now, like the normal plasma accelerator, the advanced plasma accelerator is a fixed mount weapon. Okay, and it shoots relatively slow moving plasma projectiles. Normally, on the normal weapon, they're quite high powered, uh, but you've got a problem with heat. With this one, you get, on average, about 40% of the damage per shot, but you are able to fire on a more regular basis. Your rate of fire is 286% more than the existing Class 3 Plasma Accelerator. So, pretty good, eh? So even though you're doing less damage, you can fire more, so it kind of balances itself out as well. So the distributor draw for this as well, so you need a good distributor in regards to this on your ship, is about 116% of what the normal accelerator is, and the thermal load is 145% over sustained fire. Now, that's kind of the negative side of things, and once you engineer it and get some good heat sinks applied to that, then you're gonna be in pretty good shape with this particular weapon. However, where it does come over and above the existing plasma accelerator, the advanced plasma accelerator has a larger ammo clip. Okay, now the ammo clip is 20 shots compared to the existing plasma accelerator, which is only five. And you've got a maximum ammo clip of 300 compared to 100 in the standard version. So you can fire longer, than the normal plasma accelerator before exhausting your ammunition and you can let rip and let loose the dogs of war um, should you get close enough with these fixed weapons so purchasing the ship is going to be all important Now, as I mentioned, the standard plasma accelerator is a viable weapon and good against shields and hull alike. Its armor piercing of 100 and a thermal load of 21.8 means you've got to manage this weapon in a correct manner. The advanced plasma accelerator, however, like I mentioned, is a costly weapon coming in around about 4.4 million credits at the moment without any other comparable discounts that you could potentially get. It's a class three weapon. It'll go in your class three slots and it's not gimbaled, it is fixed. So even though you can see me putting this onto a clipper, it might be better by putting it into a smaller, more nimble ship so you can really lay down some fire on it as well. Once you get the advanced format of the weapon and you've got that 300 ammo clip in which to fire from. So how do you get one of these shiny new advanced plasma accelerators? Well, Denton Petraeus is your man. Get yourself over to his home world. Once you've got to his home world, what you can do is, is then see what the sort of state of his part of the empire is. I'm gonna go for preparation because it's quite close, 57.23 light years away. That'll do for me, and it'll help him out, you know? Uh, and there's a system not far away. Once we've done that, and you've made sure that you are indeed at four weeks, level three, ready to unlock, get yourself over to the power contact and start gathering materials. Now, these are done in blocks of 10. Uh, you have to get 750 
okay. Uh, once you've got 750 of these items, you can then zip over to the next um, section that you want to prepare and then drop them off. Simple as that. Every time you collect a block of 10, you've either got to wait 30 minutes or you can spend 100,000 credits to expedite the process as a means of a fast track. Now, there's no getting away from this. You either wait and it takes for absolute ever to do or you spend a bit of money. So it's worthwhile having a couple of hundred thousand credits knocking about so that you can get this process expedited and move along quite quickly. Now, once you've got all that in your hold, it's time to get yourself over to the system that you are going to prepare or whatever it is that you're going to do. Getting yourself over to the destination system. I'm using my Type 9 for this simply because I can load it up nearly to capacity and do what I've got to do in one run instead of going back and forth to different stations. Sometimes if you've got a smaller ship and you haven't advanced as far in the game then it's going to be a bit of a laborious ache for you. Uh, so it's worthwhile sort of spending some money and getting a good ship that you can do these runs in one comparative go. That's my advice anyway, and perhaps the only top tip worthwhile in this entire process. So once you've loaded up, you've set your course and you're on your way, you will eventually, depending on your jump drive, reach your destination. Once you get there, it's not going to be that much of an ache to offload. You can't just offload in bulks of 10. You can just hold your finger on the old button once you get to the power play contact in the system and start offloading your cargo. Here we are in the power contact. Here's my military arms I'm delivering in the preparation side of things. And I'm just slowly offloading to this particular power play contact. That's just the way it is. There's no way of getting around it. It's what you've got to do. But once you have achieved that, then it's all about waiting for the system tick to happen. Now, at the moment, the system tick happens on a Thursday. That's when the servers are all reset, flushed out uh, throughout the game. That might change in the future. We don't know what Frontier are doing. But at least at this stage, we have met all the requirements. We've been aligned to him for four weeks. We're at level three and we have dropped off. Well, in this case, I've dropped off 760 merits. You only need to drop off 750. We wait until Thursday. And then once the servers come back up on a Thursday, you are then able to go and purchase those advanced plasma accelerators for 4.4 million credits from any station, any station that has outfitting, which is pretty good. And it will remain like that while you are still aligned and you still maintain that rating of level three. So good idea to have loads of credits to go and buy things or buy those particular plasma accelerators before moving on to another power play contact. Now, like I mentioned, they are a slot three or class three item and they're fixed. We've already mentioned that their stats are quite impressive especially with the rate of fire. And I can see myself putting these on, say a crate mark two. For me, I feel that just two of these weapons isn't gonna cut it. And I think the placement on the crate mark two, on top of the crate mark two, might be advantageous to using this weapon in combat. So here I am in my Crate Mark II, and my Crate Mark II, as you know, has got three slots on the top. Prime for a good firing solution for these advanced plasma accelerators. So I'm placing them in the Class 3 modules. Ideally, I should have some beam lasers in the empty Class 2 hard points with a bit of thermal bleed on there so I can start reducing the temperature in my crate. However, I haven't actually got them available, so I'll have to make do with something a bit more conventional, like multi-cannons. But we're only really going to be looking at what the accelerators can do as opposed to any other weapon. So it's off to a nice has -res zone where I'm going to go and find some mischief and someone to shoot. Always someone to shoot in a has -res zone. On something decently sized, we've got a wanted anaconda. They're already attacking a little ship. We're gonna get right in there. 
Um, we're going to get right up his trumpet. Let's see if we can get nice and close. Lots of ships in here, as you'd imagine. And we are going to... Shoot him. And we're shooting away, which is great. No idea what this guy's shields are like now. So, yeah, we, we basically chopping a bit off him. Um, it's not, you know, it, it's not what you'd be, ex you'd be expecting. I mean, we're doing damage. We are taking um, some heavy damage. Although with the Quake Mark II, my shields are offline, his shields are offline, or very sh shortly to go offline. Um, you know, I'm incurring a lot of damage right here, mostly from his wingmen. So they're pretty good, these guns, you know, but it's not all that, is it, you know? It's not all that. I mean, we're scoring good hits. It's all about having a maneuverable ship. I'm only using my my plasma weapons, nothing else. You know, is it a go-to weapon? No, I don't think it is really. I think it certainly helps if it's your bag. I mean, I'm giving a good smash in. He's out. I'm going to be out. I'm destroyed. Um, we did take a bit of damage. We did incur quite a bit of damage to him. I think marrying this weapon up with some beam lasers to, to manage your heat, you can continue to fire, might be a good way of doing things. So what do I think? Well, they're all right, aren't they? Don't really pack as much punch as you'd really like them to pack. Uh, and they are ripe for a bit of engineering as well. To be honest with you, a lot of these power play weapons are much of a muchness. I think, as I've mentioned in other videos, prismatic shields, I can see a use there. Perhaps even the pack hound. Um, others, you've got to question it. I mean, the mining lasers, the militarized mining lasers, you'd be lucky to take out, you know, a couple of eagles with them on your big mining ship, but it does give you a little bit of reassurance. Anyway, that was my video on the advanced plasma accelerator that you get with old Denton Petraeus. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope it seems it'll be a little bit objective and I hope you found it useful. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you soon. Goodbye.